I'm Grump. I'm not so Grump. And we're the Game Grumps. Welcome back to Game Grump. Hey, hey, you got that anxiety, hey, It's anxiety, hey, <laughs> <laughs> That's what they say, say. Yeah, if anyone has anxiety out there, just refer to it as anxiety, hey, And, like, it goes away pretty <laughs> just fast. Just let it melt. Melt down into nothing. Yeah, it'll be cool. Anxiety, hey, hey, hey. Have you ever had a, uh... Anxiety? Yes. No. <laughs> well, sure. Uh, a complicated relationship with a food. Go on. Like, it's red vines for me. Like, they're, I think they're gross. They're gross as fuck. I think they're bad. And yet... Can't stop eating them. Yeah! Why? And like, I never make it through a whole one. I take two bites and I'm like, I hate this. Is it just because they look like Twizzlers, which I love? I love Twizzlers too! Right? See, there- there is a very, um, extreme debate. And- and I have always been that- that person when somebody's like, Coke or Pepsi? I'm like, I'll drink both, I don't care. Yeah. Um... Well, both are good. I prefer Pepsi, but... Do you prefer Pepsi? Yeah. I prefer Coke. But I'm not gonna be like, FUCK YOU FOR LIKING COKE! Right. It's just like, yeah, I'll drink Coke too, and then I'll notice a marginal difference. But you'll actually say, fuck you for liking red vines? Uh, no. Well, I think that- what I'm saying is I'm the same way with that. But I, I- I dis- It's- it's a- it's a wider gap than Coke and Pepsi. Absolutely. Whereas if there's red vines, I'm like, <sighs> Alright. But if there's Coke, I'm like, okay, whatever. I don't know what it is about them. Maybe it's just like their bright red color makes them look inviting and delicious. Yeah. And then you bite into them and you're like, ugh. There's like a little- there's like a weird, like, vanilla flavor to them, almost? Yeah, and the consistency is off, and like... Just everything about him. I've never had a good red vine experience. But, uh, I, I can get why people don't like Twizzlers. They're, um, they're very plasticky and waxy. Oh, and yeah. I, I like that, though. I like yeah, the challenge. Yeah, me too, man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, when I eat my candy, you know, I like to... Like, isn't eating Twizzlers kind of like, kind of like a fight <laughs> in a respect, you know? I... Something about Twizzlers, man. I just can't get enough of them. Get me- nope, nope, oh. uh, There goes my ride. You can't just walk up the thing? Was that the end? Yeah. That's that was right, it? It's right there. I could just walk to it. Yeah. I'm doing that right now. Still can. What? Oh, uh, that's what it wanted me to avoid. That's okay, it's fine. Don't worry about it. Ow, 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 ow. Well, I mean, now it's hot, Amber. Whoa, look at these pigeons or things or something. Mm. Whoa. Birds of prey. <laughs> Birds all day. I was gonna make a really stupid prayer joke. Like, birds of prey, but... And I was like, no, Dan, don't... Don't do it. And don't talk about it, either. Because then people will be like, you idiot. But I broke that rule. Oh, birds of prey, as yeah. in like... Yeah, like they... They're kneeling before Lay me God. down, my soul, too, or whatever. Yeah. What's the- the- the kit? Well, you wouldn't know, because you weren't- The Lord is rich. my shepherd, I shall not want. He can- He maketh me down to lie. He converteth me into lamb cutlets. And- and- That's from Pink Floyd. Oh. I was thinking of the- the one where you- it's before you go to bed. If I die before I wake, pray my soul the- Play, no, pray, the pray the Lord my, my soul, soul to take. take. Yeah, yeah. It's, that's from Enter Sandman by Metallica. Okay, well, that's also... <laughs> yes. <laughs> that is in that song. But it's it's a real prayer. Well... I gotta be honest, I'm much... less familiar with the Bible than I am the Black <laughs> Album by Metallica, so... Yes. I go by, I'm gonna go with what I know. By the way, just so you guys know, I, I upgraded my, uh... Flame retardant armor off screen. I noticed you're wearing a helmet now. Well, no, I had that in the last episode. Oh, sorry, I mentally checked out. I upgraded it. Also, you kind of look like a Lego head. That's something I wanted to touch on. Is is like, so when I'm in the Gerudo Valley, right? Mm -hmm. I fucking I I get like this really minimalistic outfit that lets I presumably makes my my body breathe right. so that I have heat resistance. Mm -hmm. S flash forward to. Fire resistance, right? And I'm wearing this full fucking suit, so I don't burn alive. 
Got that thermal underwear, bro. Is that- is that how it works? Mm hmm I guess it's like a fireman suit. If you have the, uh... So your, your skin doesn't burn? If you have the flame retardant tidy whities you can get away with anything. Just seems a lot ho hotter than, you know, wearing nothing. Nothing but. stops fire more than when you're fucking mighty tidy whitey and you're smuggling plums. <laughs> all up in your flame retardant, uh... Uh... Speedo jam. It's just two plums and a banana. So I heard, uh, that there's a- there's a video or an image of Obama, and he's, uh, he's like flirting with a flight attendant, and he's like, just showing off his gigantic cock. What?! He's wearing like these really tight shorts, and he's just like standing in that pose that's just like, Look at this. Huh. Have you noticed my huge dick? <laughs> you wanna talk about an election night? How about an erection night? <laughs> I bet uh, he had a massive wang. All right, I'm out. Oh yeah. To deal to deal with that much criticism, and be like, that's whatever. <laughs> still chill, yeah. Got a huge penis. You got yeah. You got to have a big old dick. Uh, Good for him. Do you know Yunobu? Why is a stranger like you asking about Yunobu? Boss wants to know. One of these little ashes is gonna fly into his mouth. He's gonna be like. <laughs> uh, uh. Well, I guess I better tell you where you know Bo is. Cute eyes. Oh, did I already go up? Th oh, for fuck's sake! Are you serious? I fucking did all that stuff. All well, I guess I destroyed it all already. So, I guess Bye. I can just yeah, I can just run up there. I won't talk about how I ruined the thing you're talking about. So I did the thing that I was supposed to do too early. That's kind of a bummer. Usually, this game like lets you just get away with shit like that. Hmm. What do you have to do now? Backtrack. Yeah, I just have to go up there. But I already blew everything up, so I can just go up there. There you go, not too bad. You remember when I was, like, bl blowing shit up with the cannons? Yes, I do. When we were talking about school? Yup. Oh, god, that was so long ago. Yeah. God, it felt like, felt like three days ago. <clears throat> you know what's shocking to me? When I... When I look at... Oh! Nice! I ran out of stamina. When I look at, uh, old... Uh, old school Grumps videos, like, from when I first joined. Um... But it feels... Like, a lot of that shit blends together, so it feels more recent, and then I click on it, and it's like... July, 2013. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. I know exactly what you're talking about. We're talking about the movie Gravity. Like, just like, shit that's like very much like four <laughs> years ago. Was that four years ago? Yeah, 2013. Gravity? Yeah. Oh, man. I know. Time flies, baby. God damn. Crazy, crazy. Neil deGrasse Tyson's been around that long? Oh, yeah. Oh, much longer. Man. He's the raddest. I don't know I him. I would love to meet him. You know, I don't know him. Right. All he I appears to be the raddest. All I know is that he's like... Mr. Smart Science Man. Yeah, his dedication to science and his chillness in doing so... ...is, is awesome. All I know is, is by... I, I know him by his famous quote of... <laughs> the people don't think it be like it is, but it do. That's not his quote, Aaron. <laughs> you mean the one that has his face and is attributed to Black Science Man? Yeah, he didn't actually say that. It's just a fucking stupid ass internet meme. People don't think it be like it people is. People don't think the universe be like it is, but, <laughs> but it do. It do. <laughs> God damn it. So uncool. Dude, but the the uh the one I love. He loved. didn't say that. Yeah, hard to believe. The the, the cool thing he said was, "Oh wait, do? hold on. Let me give this a minute." Oh, he says words. Oh, look at him. He looks different than everyone else. That must mean he's look at his fucking abs. Holy shit! Yeah. Are he's, you seeing how jacked this Goron is? You know, bo. Yeah. You know, bo. <laughs> you know, bo. Are you gonna say words or just gonna stand there and breathe for a while? What the heck was I gonna say? You were talking about something that Neil, Neil deGrasse Tyson oh, yeah, yeah. actually said. Well, yeah, he was just like, you know, some people were giving him tons of shit about, like, you know... Pluto? The dinosaurs weren't really millions of years old and all that type of thing, and he was like, well, like, just very cool, like, not disrespectful or, like, not an asshole about it. He was just like, well, you know, the cool thing about science is it... it's... the provable truth whether you believe it or not. I was like, oh, dip damn. <laughs> that was, uh, pretty powerful stuff. Yeah, but not if... How do you know? 
You know, it actually <laughs> I can't I can't remember how oh, shit. I can't remember how they do carbon testing. Um, but it was explained to me once and I was like, that's fucking how they do it. Um I'm I'm gonna look it up because it, it has to do with some kind of man-made event or or like large scale event. Oh, wasn't it like atomic bombs or something? Um, I, yeah, I think it. I think it did have to do with atomic bombs. Like ato the atomic bombs going off created a level of um, uh, elements in the uh, in the world in the Earth's atmosphere, something to that effect, and that's traceable. And so you can use that as a marker for how old something is. Um, wow. But let me look it up for real, so I don't spread misinformation. <laughs> we, we've never been known to do that on Game Grumps. No. How does carbon testing work? I've never mistakenly said a fact that wasn't a fact and convinced that it was the real thing. That's Much weird. like, uh, the fucking Enigma guy. Oh, Craig. It's Taiwanese Aboriginal chanting. Ah. And that's what that is. It's not a Tibetan. It's not Native American. It's Taiwanese uh Aboriginal. So there you go. That's a little that's a little nugget for your brain to digest for the rest of the day. If you ever hear somebody go or like stub their knee and they're like, ay, ay, you're like, oh that's Taiwanese or, uh, Aboriginal chanting. God damn it, I can't find a, a succinct way to put this. Succinct? Yeah. Like a- like a quick, uh, conclusive way to say it. I'll have to- I'll have to- I'll have to read that article and then distill it later for- for the audience. But it's- Isn't, isn't that coincidental that saying succinct was not the succinct way of saying succinct? Well, normally you don't have to explain what succinct means. <laughs> That's really where all the time went. <laughs> I'm just saying situationally. I'm not saying like all the time. Yeah, yeah. No, it is true. <laughs> Wait, everyone in this town has terrible posture. <laughs> yeah. Well, they're carrying fucking giant rocks on their back. How would you feel? I, uh, Look, he's got fucking shoulder rocks. You're right. You're right. Is that what happens when you get older? Yeah. You know about Tommy all about how you helped your brother. Here's a reward for you. Hillians like you need this sort of thing, right? Oh, thanks, man. I already have the full armor, but it's cool. Look, I, I took my painkillers, so I guess it's time to meet up with Yonobo. I mean, no respect to Daruk's legacy, but... I'm not gonna give that Renan- R Redania a good walloping. Are you telling me you don't know about Daruk, the G Goron champion? Well, Oh, there he is. Nuclear bombs made it possible to carbon date human tissue. The fallout of nuclear bomb the fallout of the nuclear bomb era is still alive today in our muscles. Whoa. That's crazy. Whoa, dude, I was right. It, it's a- it's a dude. Oh. The- the statue is a dude. Oh! It's- oh. it's not just a random He's Goron. Like a Deku tree. That would be so funny, though, if it was just like, Oh, that's just- we just made a Goron, cause we look like that. Yeah, fuck radiocarbon testing, we got a large rock man to talk to. I let- yeah! So does that mean we should drop a bunch of tiny mini atomic bombs to make it easier for carbon dating? Getting there. Oh, is this a hundred years ago? I gotta wash my beard. If it gets even a tiny stain on it, it loses that beautiful white sheen. Mm. Look at all those delectable rocks. Can they only eat certain kind of rocks? No! Okay. That's why it was fucking stupid in Ocarina of Time. Alright then. They like specifically said, they were like, But those rocks are the tastiest! And it's like, Fucking, you're, you're a starving race! You're gonna die out if you don't just eat rocks! I'm sorry you gotta fucking eat luxury rocks. Wow. Jesus Christ. The, the, they can just eat rocks, whatever, they're uh, rock eaters. Which is like birds, but the birds don't eat the rocks, they use the rocks to digest. Mm. What if- what if birds ate like diamonds? Would they have super stomachs? They would certainly be able to digest anything. If they could digest diamonds. I wonder how strong their gizzards are. 
Like, how- Do the eagles have large talons? <laughs> Whoa! Would, would they be able to eat knives? No! He's just gonna punch it, dude. See? Oh, damn. He kicks ass. Thank God I saved us. I mean, I could have just stepped out of the way, but... What was I saying? Oh, yeah, I was talking about how fucking awesome I am. Did you see that shit? Yeah. I do anything for your hot, nasty ass. And it is a hot, nasty ass, to be sure. Why do we all wear this blue shit? I hate it. I like it. I- That's Honolulu blue. That's a good color. I mean, I like it. I was saying in character as the fucking mm. Goron. I thought it was great that they switched it up and made Link blue. You were Reggie Watts ten years in the future? Well, he's gotten into you! Hillian sure are strange! Anyway, you know who's actually a descendant of the great Daruk. That's why that slacker can even use Daruk's protection. Oh, damn. He uses it to protect himself while we fire him at Rodania. What? I don't know, but it's time for next time on Game Rooms. They shoot him out of a cannon at the giant beast. They have no choice because normal cannonballs are no good against him. Did they just like... Cause he see, he made it seem like it was a reverse cause and effect, so did they just like launch him at it and then he was like, ah, and then turned on his thing and they were like, oh, he can do that. That sounds right. <laughs> we were just launching him at a fucking dangerous beast in the lava. Hoping he would die. See you later, herb buddy. Good, 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 good riddance. <laughs> good day. I said good day. <laughs>